So I just made a video on my main channel taking a look at the brand new Legend of Zelda Game & Watch and lots of people ask me if I could actually take it apart and show you what's inside. So that is what I'm going to do today on my little second channel uh, and let's have a look and see what we can find inside. So. Now I'm fairly certain it's going to just be one motherboard inside with a screen attached to the motherboard with a ribbon cable connector. I doubt there's going to be anything sort of exciting and unique in here. Um, some people were speculating that there might be an SD card with the games on it. Um, I highly, highly doubt that. There's also going to be some sort of a notch here, isn't there? Because the uh, LCD screen provides the little Zelda Triforce with a light. So um, yeah, let's go ahead and open it up. How on earth do we do that? Is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, just pop it up like that. And are we in? Not yet. There we go. Okay, so here we are. Let's lift off the back. Boom. Okay. Well, you know what? I'm actually quite excited about this. That right there is a Nintendo Switch speaker. I thought the sound on this was quite good. That's because it's got a Nintendo Switch speaker in there, which is really cool. And that, fairly certain that is the Joy-Con battery. Am I right in saying that that is exactly what that is right there? That's the Joy-Con battery? That's very, very clever. Well done, Nintendo. It looks very cool in here. It's cr pretty crazy, actually, to see such a modern um, motherboard. That is very reminiscent of what we see now from Nintendo on the Nintendo Switches. So that's actually really cool. There we go. So we've removed that ribbon cable, and we've got another one here. So let's go ahead and unplug that one, too. Okay, so we've got a few Phillips screws. Let's go ahead and undo all of those. You can see there, that's where the light is gonna be coming through for the Triforce. Um, and you can also see as well that the plastic is sort of thinner there. That's to allow the light to come through that, but not through anything else. So really simple little design. Very clever. Um, and the other thing as well, these little um, marks in the plastic are actually to prevent the motherboard from flexing when you press the button. So you'll notice that's where the D-pad is, that's where the action buttons are, that's where the start and select ones are. That's the little uh, cavity that they've got there for the speaker, and that is for the USB and the power switch. So there's lots of little clever things going on inside here that people probably wouldn't even think about that's very clever. So. Let's uh, remove this final screw. And we should now be able to remove the motherboard. I doubt we're gonna have to remove those screws, but we may well have to. Yeah, it looks like we are. There we go, that is gonna lift up the motherboard now, okay. Right, so what we're gonna do is remove the battery real quick as well. It should just be a case of popping that up, there we go. Okay, so the final thing is that speaker. There we go. Just needed a little uh, little nudge. There we have it. That is exactly what makes the Game & Watch tick. Now you can totally see there the uh, the design of the, uh, the Game & Watch is really, really cool, but absolutely no micro SD card. It's a little bit primitive. Nintendo wouldn't use something like that to store uh, all of the games on it because it would be hacked in a heartbeat, but yeah. Really cool little motherboard. I love the notch there for the Triforce. Let's take a look at the rest of it. So we've got the uh, the, the rubber membranes, which is exactly what you'd expect to see here. Um, they, these ones obviously are gonna have the buttons actually in it, but the actual D-pad has its own physical plastic button, of course. Uh, we've also got the power switch button here as well. And then finally, we've got the, um, the start and select. Start and select the pause, the alarm, the time, the game, all that sort of stuff. And then there's one final screw to remove, which is this one. So that is the, whoa, something quite cool here. Holy crap, okay. So yeah, there we go. That's the bracket then that's gonna hold the screen down and also hold the battery on it. Have you noticed, look at that. There's a massive screen in there. Why is it so big? That's quite a big screen, isn't it? I wish we could get that out, but it looks like it's gonna be a bit too risky to do that. But yeah, there we go. That's the screen right there. That looks like it's actually a one big square screen. So it's actually hiding quite a bit of the screen under these bezels. So I wonder if that's what they're gonna use for the eventual Game Boy Classic Mini. Let me know what your thoughts are then in the comment section down below. That is the Game & Watch teared down. Yeah, 
exactly what I expected, if I'm honest, but really, really cool. I love the details, love the little things like this, the bracket. You can feel the quality of it. All right, well, thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.